All right, let's get started on a little image angle uh, changing for objects here. We left off, we got the players jumping. There's just one little thing I want to show you before the next lesson, and it's something you're going to need to use. In this lesson, we use graphics for the firing that were round. It didn't really matter whether this sprite was moving up, down, left, right. It always looked okay because it was a ball. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull up a sprite, and I'm just going to let player one fire arrows and just show you, well, how do you change the direction of the sprites when they're moving in different directions? Because you're going to use that in the little challenge for the next lesson. So what I'll do is I'll quickly make a sprite here. I'm going to call it Sprite Arrow. And I'll load it up. Now I just went into the All Resources, Level 2. And there's one there called Arrow Small. So you can grab that one. Center, click OK, and there's our sprite. Of course, I'll make the object, create object. You should be getting pretty decent at this now. Object arrow, give it the arrow sprite. Hit OK. Now, I'm not going to perfect. I'm not going to perfect the arrow sprite very much. What I'm going to do is just for testing here. I'm going to make player one fire an arrow when they press the Z or Z key if you're in the United States. Remember, this thing's made in Canada, so I'll say Z quite a bit. Object player, right click. Whoops, double click. Let's get the player up here. Let's add an event. Key press, letter Z. Now I'm just going to type some of the standard firing code for an arrow. So if you're good, you've probably memorized a bit of this. I don't know, I'll give a little name to my arrow. I'll call my arrow Chuck equals instance create x comma y comma object arrow. Notice the color changed. That's good. It knows the name. Hey Chuck, set your speed to 10. Hey Chuck, set your direction equal to my direction. Now I'm going to test this out and show you what happens without the little line I'm about to type in there. The arrow sprite is facing to the right. And you'll notice as I move the player around, it doesn't matter which way I fire. The arrow is always facing to the right. To the right is considered zero degrees. Remember, moving right is zero degrees in Game Maker's direction circle. What I want to do is I want to be able to tell that image to basically turn to the direction that I want. For instance, if I go back to my arrow code. If I say, hey, Chuck, change your image angle. Now you notice it turned red. That's another built-in variable that every object gets. Okay, so it's very easy to change the image angle of objects. You don't really have to do too much. Let's say I make it 270. And now I run the program. I shouldn't have to tell you what this will do. The graphic has been turned, so it faces down. Now this works very nicely with sprites. As long as your original sprite faces to the right, the image angle is very easy to use. Now, of course, that still looks a little messed up. If that came out of your arrow, or your bow and arrow, you'd think something was wrong. You probably guess what the magic word here is. I want Chuck's image angle to equal whatever direction I, the player that I'm coding in, is facing. So that's the direction of the player. And with that set, Now you can actually use sprites that actually face a direction instead of having to use a ball, which is sort of unidirection. Okay, so you'll use this in the next little challenge you're going to have, which involves firing some lasers. The lasers have a direction they face. You'll want to change the image angle on them when you fire them or create them or whatever you do. Anyways, that's it for that lesson. No challenge with it. 
The next challenge you're going to get is going to be a big one. It's going to be reproducing another little game. And we're going to leave Get the Ghosts on the side. Or sorry, we're going to leave the two-player game on the back burner for a lesson or two. Thanks for watching. Good luck.